are we doing today? What are we doing today? We're doing a budget, we caught some fish, traveling back from Illinois. We're doing a lot of fun stuff, right? That's what we're doing today on Chasing the Sun. My goodness, what a long day, but a good day. We are doing laundry in Charleston, Indiana, getting ready to go to the lake house. Finally got uh, a long day, but a good day. Finally got here and uh, show you what it looks like when we get to the lake house. guys all right like i said we're doing the budget today gonna catch you guys up on some stuff been doing so much traveling um and i'm not complaining it's a travel show i love my travel uh, but it's just been so hectic um i will just go to that now i'm going down my list uh we started in wilmington about four weeks ago and i went down to see my daughter 
and we traveled to Florida and I went down there as you guys if you haven't seen check out those videos below uh, I did some work for her on her house and my grandson built uh, and I built some stuff for her uh, we did that for about three weeks and then we went um, back to uh, Wilmington for a minute uh, to shore up some business stuff with Burley Wood and then uh, we did I went to uh, uh, from from Wilmington, I went back to Louisville. Uh, it's kind of my adopted hometown. I was there for just a couple of days. Um, then I went to Danville. I had some family matters. I buried my aunt. Um, I reconnected with my oldest and dearest friend. Um, and then now I'm back in Southern Indiana. So, ha uh, um, And the reason I'm a little aw uh, is because um, when I travel, I like to travel maybe 50 to 100 miles a day. Um, and just kind of see stuff and enjoy stuff. I really don't like traveling where I have to drive for six or seven hours at a time. Um, I mean, you know, I, I, I live in a live in an RV and I travel for a living. So, um, but I don't really get to enjoy it as much when I do that. It's kind of a long day, um, and uh, you know, Wolfie's like, dude. It's the summertime. What are we doing in the south? It uh, has been over the last couple uh, previous summers, I would travel north um, uh, the, in Michigan and Ohio and uh, Pennsylvania and on up north uh, where it's a little bit cooler. Um, but this year, it's kind of been um, out of necessity. I've been in the south. So anyway, I loved, loved seeing everybody, uh, all of my friends, my family. I saw all of my kids within a span of a week, which makes me amazingly happy, and my grandson. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, it's been, a, it's been really, really a good couple of, uh, a good month, uh, but it's been a busy month and I don't like to be that busy. I like to, I like to be a little bit busy. Uh, but like I said, I don't like to travel six, seven, eight, nine hours, um, at a time in the RV. So, but anyway, all right, to the budget. Um, and it's been a minute and my, my daughter, Kelsey actually had a good idea. I think, um, she's like pop the, the, you know, once a week. You know, you spend $25, uh, and sometimes I do spend $25. If I have all the food I already have, and I'm not traveling too much, and I spend 25 or 50 bucks on gas, that's it. Um, so I'm gonna do it bi-weekly or maybe once a month. So this, these numbers reflect, um, these numbers reflect for the last four weeks. Um, so, so it's got all my monthly bills, my reoccurring bills, and the gas that it took me to get down and travel crazy. Um, and all of that my my normal budget my goal is 500 dollars a week if you haven't uh, which, uh if you don't know that then go back to some of the other videos that'll help you kind of show you where i am and how i get to that number and what i can do with 500 dollars a month and by that i mean everything <coughs> so sorry um and we'll go through that list now so my phone uh, is 112 dollars. i know that's crazy but it's all you can eat and it's you know i love i love my phone i spent 202 bucks uh, on food, normally I spend about thirty dollars a week, but of course, as soon as I got to Florida, uh, I made some uh, some stuff. My background is a is a commercial uh, professional cook. Uh, when I'm I'm around someone I love, I usually cook something crazy. Um, so I cooked a lot for my grandson and my daughter, which I loved, and then I cooked for my uh, best friend in the world, Todd and his wife. And when I got to uh, Illinois, I cooked some stuff, and so it blew blew my blew my hundred and $120 a month budget for food, but whatever. I loved it. I enjoyed it. Enjoyed the crap out of it. Uh, insurance on the rig is 50. Gym is 22. Uh, the oil change, which I'm going to do a separate episode all about, just to be a spoiler alert. Um, I spent 38 bucks on the oil change. I actually went to two different places. Uh, one was an RV. Holy crap, an RV service. They sold RVs and stuff in Nashville as I was coming through. Uh, they wanted $299 for an oil change. Now, mind you, um, again, if you haven't watched, uh, my 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 rig is a, a 1986 Sunland Toyota Sunland uh, Express, and it's got a four-cylinder, and it's got the 22RE. It's a legendary engine. It's one of the greatest engines ever built. Um, and it's a freaking old 1986 four-cylinder truck engine. And there's no damn way that nobody should be paying nowhere near nothing like $200 a month. Um, so, or $400, $300 a month. And then, like I said, the other one, if I didn't say it, was 200 bucks locally. And that was from like a, um, from a quick oil change place. And I didn't really argue with the RV guy. 
I was shocked and I was like, uh, okay, cool. Um, but the local guy here in uh, Southern Indiana, I asked him, I said, why, why, why would you think that it's okay? You, you do $30. Now I, I want a full synthetic. So let's say crazy amount. I've seen, I've done those in California. I've done those in Florida. I've done them all over on my personal uh, vehicle. And I did an emergency uh, one on a, uh, on a commercial vehicle years ago. But anyway, um, r regular oil changes with full synthetic in, in my Toyota Corolla, they go for about 30 bucks to about 90 bucks. Um, and so they're really, I didn't really understand. And he tried to give me some bull crap. Uh, he couldn't bring it in and he had to jack it up and all these other things. It was a 20 minute ordeal. I didn't ask for anything else, just oil and an oil change. I mean, an oil change with oil and a filter. I spent 30, 38 bucks, like I said. That's insane. So um, I guess word to the wise. Now, also I have a friend who has a newer RV and it's way more difficult. It's like a couple years old. It's probably $60,000 rig. Now, I don't know if I would be able to do that or not, but I can guarantee you that if you got in this life to save uh, money and you have a regular sort of an engine, that, that 40 bucks for a stinking oil change is the way to go. So anyway, I'm gonna have a full uh, episode about that. I'm gonna do that tomorrow, so I'll post that later. Uh, also really quickly, I wanna talk about um, when I post. Um, I was trying to let everyone know where I, where I was going and where I would be. Um, and I met someone um, that was a subscriber and seemed very nice. And maybe it's just because I'm so overprotective of me and Wolfie. Um, but I felt weird and uh, I felt weird because I had let, uh, uh, let them know where I was going to be. Um, and they were there before me and I don't know, I just felt weird. So, uh, I definitely wouldn't mind meeting all of you, uh, but I'm going to need to get a little bit better at this. Um, I'm, I'm new, the, the channel is just two months old and um, I'm a very personal, you know, personable person. I love to meet people, I love to interact with people. I've actually met a couple of subscribers. It's crazy, randomly, I met a couple of subscribers um, and it was awesome. They're like, hey, you're the YouTube guy with, the, you're the gorilla and I'm like, well, no, I'm, I'm Bigfoot. <laughs> and that was really cool, but, um, so anyway, yes, I definitely want to meet uh, some or all of you guys, but I need to get better at it, so, um, I'm going to, I'm going to post, but I'm actually going to, when I post that I'm in Louisville, I will be already on to my next location. Um, just because I don't feel safe with it yet. Um, and I'll get better about it. And as the channel grows and we get more subscribers, you know, especially in a group setting, um, if there were more than one subscriber that wanted to meet me, I'd be happy to hang out. So um, just, just. So, you know, so where, where, when you see me filming in Louisville, I'm probably in Wilmington or UP in Michigan or something. So, uh, we spent $656. Oh boy, that was a lot of money, but we did an incredible amount of traveling. Uh, I got the, I got the miles written down, but it's nuts. It's uh 1500 miles or something. I think I have to, I'll, I'll, t I'll, I'll tell that in the next video, but it was a lot to start in Wilmington, go to Florida, Wilmington, Louisville, Danville, Illinois, back to Louisville. Yeah, I love it. It's a crazy, it's a crazy life. Um, and we stayed in a camping, I stayed in a campground for the second time. I had one emergency one time, stayed there for four days. I kind of get it guys. Uh, man, camping in a campground is the shit. It's awesome. Um, it's 20 bucks a night. It, they were showers and there was nobody pooping in a bucket. Uh, unlimited water and unlimited electricity. It was so hot. I couldn't have Wolfie in Illinois for uh, for five days and not give her. Um, and then we had a funeral and I didn't want to be too close to my family because I didn't want to smother them, although I love them. Anyway, so camping. I don't know, man. Um, as the channel grows, I think I'm going to explore that a little bit. Um, it's very cool. So boondocking is my way of life, but camping might be the new way of life coming up. So anyway, so we spent 656 bucks. Uh, a lot of money, a lot of travel uh, for just a few weeks. So that's why we're over the budget, but had an amazing time. I, I, I saw my family. Um, one of the things that I think that you need to consider if you're considering this lifestyle um, is that if your budget is $500 a month um, to live with all of your expenses and it only took you a couple of hundred extra dollars to see, you know, probably a dozen of my closest family and friends and I got to travel crazy, I don't know. 700 bucks for, for a month. That's, that's crazy. 
crazy, crazy. And it really doesn't help that I have a four cylinder. I've got uh, an extra, probably a thousand pounds of, I'm taking my inventory with me. I'm taking the stuff that I, I make my stuff with. If you don't know, I, I make stuff, burly what I do. I make furniture and coat racks and all kinds of stuff. And how I make my living on the road is I take that stuff with me. And so I'm getting like nine or 10 miles to the gallon in a four cylinder. So I have to figure that out. Um, I'm sort of waiting on what happens with the TV deal. If you don't know that, that there's a couple of, um, episodes before two episodes that, that I talk about that of talking in, in, in talks with a, with a British producer, uh, about maybe being part of a reality TV show. And eh, it's probably nothing, but boy, it'd be great if it was. And I'm, I'm praying, uh, but I'm gonna wait till that happens. Uh, and if we don't get that, which I, I'm, I'm really want that. And I'm, I, I'm, I'm sending positive stuff out into the air and praying about that. Uh, if, I, I mean, I don't want to misrepresent myself. This is what I have been doing for two years. So I felt like if I changed now, it would be a little disingenuous. So I don't want to, I don't want to change now, but I think as soon as that either falls through or if it doesn't fall through, of course, I'll, I, you know, I'll be on TV and I won't have to worry about uh, the expenses as much. So, so anyway, so that's it for the budget. Um, what's coming up. Um, I've had lots of questions. Thank you guys so much. Please keep them coming. Um, I've had some friends ask me questions and some some people I don't know, some subscribers. Got some on Facebook. I even got one on Instagram. Really cool. The coolest question I've ever got is on Instagram. So that's coming up this next week probably. Um, and I've had two people complain that part of my show, part of the part of the two, the the two uh, the YouTube channel is that I am a cook, a professionally trained cook. I've been cooking since 1985 professionally. I own my own restaurant. I I mean a, a food truck in professional kitchens for throughout my life on and off. And one of the things that I've been chastised for on more than one occasion is that, uh, the, the three people that like the cooking shows have, uh, have, um, said, Hey, or the two people said, Hey, you're not cooking. So sorry about that. Just been, been too busy working. Um, but I got it. I got the new, and I said this in a previous episode. Um, I've got the dollar, uh, the dollar meals coming up, uh, the trying the new stuff, uh, trying new stuff that I've never had for a dollar, uh, at Walmart or the Dollar Tree or whatever. That's going to be interesting. Uh, the first one is a potted meat, kind of a pescatarian. So, uh, but anyway, I think that'll be interesting. That's coming up too. And of course it will change. So that's all that's coming up. Uh, again, I'm sorry. I, I've been a little bit out of whack, but I've been posting more regularly, uh, and I feel better about that. So, um, if you have found this uh, entertaining or you've gained something from it, please hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like me on Facebook, that, that helps me to share the videos there. That really helps me to helps us grow. Uh, we're at about 140 uh, subscribers need to get to a thousand so I can monetize and, and torture you guys with, uh, ads so I can make a little bit of money. So, and that's it. So if there's something that I haven't, uh, covered yet, hit me with an inbox. So I always include my email down below. Um, like I said, you can find me on Instagram. Uh, it's Eric chasing the sun there. Uh, my name is Eric Hobaugh, H O B A U G H on Facebook. And of course we are chasing the sun, uh, on Facebook as well. You can join the, us, the group there. So that's it. And remember you have to get up every single day for the rest of your life and do one thing that gets you closer to your dreams. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.